Um, this is a question from a test your understanding, the end of one of my presentations for my class from chapter 6.4 of P3, differentiation product rule. And one of the students has asked me to explain this question. And here we're given a expression for dy dx, which is the gradient function. And it's also known as the first derivative. And we are asked to find the second derivative and simplify our answer. So to find the second derivative, what we do is you differentiate the first derivative. So you have, you differentiate dy dx with respect to x, you end up with d squared y dx squared. So we have to differentiate the first derivative. Now, before I can differentiate it, I want to write it in a form that is conducive to differentiating, right? So what I see here is I'm, I'm going to try to write this as two separate products, and I can first split it up in this way. This is like 1 over 6x multiplied by 1 over x minus 1 to the power of a half. So I can see um, it like that. And now I'm going to try to express it such that the variables are in the numerator. So I haven't started differentiating. This is still the first derivative. So this is 1 over 6 x to the power of negative 1 times x minus 1 to the power of negative a half. Now I've written it with the x terms in the numerator. I can now think of trying to differentiate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the first product, which is 1 sixth x to the power of minus 1. I'm going to call that u. And v, I'm going to call the other product, which is x minus 1 to the power of negative a half. I have a product of two separate functions, which I want to differentiate. Now, to differentiate this, I'm going to differentiate the first term. So I'll find that's, I'll call that u dash. So I multiply a 6 by minus 1, which is minus 1 sixth. And then I take one from the power. So that's the power of minus 2. And I'll do the same for v dash. So I multiply this whole bracket by minus a half. And then that means I have to take one from the power. And then I multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, which happens to be 1 anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Now, when you use the product rule, so now we're going to start differentiation. So now I'm going to differentiate this. So now I'm going to write d squared y dx squared. And what I like to do is I like to multiply v by u dash and then add to that u times v dash. It might be different from the formula in the book, but I like to keep in the same method like this because the product rule and the quotient rule then, you don't get mixed up between them. For the quotient rule, you have to subtract this times that and that times that and then divide by v squared for the product rule you have to add them. So it doesn't really matter what order you add them, but I like to keep it the same order so that I don't get confused with the quotient rule. So I like to go in this order. So this is going to be these two multiplied, which is going to be minus 1 over 6 x to the power of minus 2 times x minus 1 to the power of negative a half plus then these two multiplied, which is going to be 1 over 6 x to the power of minus 1 times minus 1 over 2 x minus 1 to the power of negative 3 over 2. Now, I can continue here. What I'm going to do now, in order for me to simplify this, is I'm going to write these as um, fractions and then add those fractions together. So I'm going to write all these x terms now in the denominator. So I'll have minus. On the numerator, I'll just have a 1. In the denominator, I have 6x squared, and I have x minus 1 to the power of positive a half. And here I'm going to have... Uh, 1, 6 times the minus 1 over 2, that's minus 1 over 12. So I'm going to have, I see on the numerator, I'll just have a 1. So in the denominator, I'll have a 12 and an x. And then I'll have x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. Now I'm going to add these two fractions to one, into one fraction. Now I need to find the LCM of the denominator. So if I write, I've got minus this fraction and minus this fraction. So I can see from the numbers, I'm going to make them both into 12. So this is going to be multiplied by, I'm going to multiply this by 2. So this is going to become 2 up here. And that will become 12. And that will be x squared, x minus 1. Now I also have to make this into the same power here. So I need to multiply this by x minus 1 to the power of 1. Because then that will become x to the power of 3 over, x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. So that means I also multiply the numerator also by the same thing. So I multiply by 2 times x minus 1. And that will now become to the power of 3 over 2. 
So that will be 12x squared, and that will be x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, and this, I also want to make it 12x squared times x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. So what do I have to do to this to make it that? I have to multiply by, by x. Okay, I have to multiply by x. Okay, and then that will become on top x. So I multiply the top by x as well. So I, I identified that this is the LCM of the denominator. I said, how do I make this become that? I multiply it by 2, and I multiply it by x minus 1. So I multiply the numerator by the same thing. And how do I make this become that? I multiply this by x, so I multiply the numerator by x as well. Now I have one common denominator, which is 12x squared times x minus 1. And on the numerator, I'm going to have minus 2x plus 2 minus x. So that gives me 2 minus 3x over 12x squared times x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. To the power of 3 over 2. There's that power there, I forgot. All right, so there is the answer to our question. Okay, so we have, first of all, prepared it for differentiating. We have used the product rule to differentiate it. And then we have just simplified it. Okay, we have just, you know, expressed this as, you know, positive powers Combine the two fractions together by finding the LCM of the denominators, which is 12x squared x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. Then whatever you have to do to the denominator to make it um, become this, you do to the numerator. So multiply by 2, multiply by x minus 1. Here, multiply by x. And then you can add those two fractions together under the same common denominator. And there's your answer. Okay, so I hope that was clear. That's that question from the testing understanding of 6.4. Now, other questions you want to find from the from um, test your understanding of chapter six, okay, on differentiation in general, you'll find them in this playlist over here. Okay, chapter six of P3. Other questions from differentiation of P3 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.